My answer, Chris, the biggest disappointment is the Atlanta Falcons ah. up to this point in the season. Now, in uh, 2012, they were 13-3, and 8-0, and 0, and they came within a play of making it to the Super Bowl. Last year with Roddy White, with injuries to Roddy White and Julio Jones, you could kind of explain their... They're poor, and I think they were. They finished up four and twelve. You can kind of explain the reason why they weren't doing very well. But this year, they've only won two games here on the season. They're last in the NFL with sacks. They've got seven sacks total. They were the top offense at the start of the season, but they've certainly fallen off. And their defense is really where they're struggling. Thirty-first in total D, 29th rated. And this is out of thirty-two teams in pass. Twenty-eighth, or I'm sorry, they they've had twenty-six. They're, they're 26 and third down. <laughs> I know my stats are falling apart. And they've only scored 26 fourth quarter points the entire time. So, First of all, this isn't around the horn, okay? You're not Woody Page, <laughs> okay? She's not giving you points. She's not, okay, well, for your stats, you and all you are like 29th on third down with 26.4 yards. That I, sorry but, that I'm just trying to support where I'm coming from, Chris, and support my answer rather than just talk about how, oh, the Seattle Seahawks over there. I'm trying to support and give some give some raw data. How do I know where you got that data? To why? I have no idea. You could have just written that down yourself. I could have. Did you make up any data for your answer? I'm going to right now. This I can't wait to hear Do what you, this is. I am actually going to go with my backup. The Chicago Bears. Oh, okay. Chicago Bears. Uh oh. Because that was the other team Surprise. I was going to mention, depending upon what you said. Because are you just they... trying to? Are you trying to needle our guest? She comes in studio. She comes all the way no, over here, listen, and she's a she's a diehard Bears fan. And you're gonna. Uh, I. There might be Jay Cutler. All the talk was he was going to have an MVP like season. Maybe he was going to be be the MVP. We, we I don't know if we're going to talk about that on the show here. I don't know what question she's going to ask from here on out. But he was in that conversation at the beginning. He's definitely not now. Mm-hmm. And that team is underperforming like crazy. Oh. Forte, they Jeffrey, are, Brandon Marshall. They're twenty third in total offensive snaps oh. from the from the from the center to the QB. So you're, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah they are seventeenth, Kevin. Seventeenth. In terms of ratio per water boy to to kicker, that is terrible. That is terrible. Those kickers are so malnourished so they, they have, on the on. field. They have seventeen water are, boys are, for every one kicker. Is that what that stat was? No, 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 no. They are seventh in seventeenth place okay. in ratio from water boys to kickers. Okay. Yeah, let's say maybe you can translate. That's that. terrible. I can, that is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it it uh, sounds bad though. Although they're. Yeah. There are at least, what, like like 15 teams that are worse, it sounds like, because out of 32 teams, they're right in the middle if there's yeah, 17. Yeah, but they were expected to be better than <laughs> oh, okay, that, Kevin. Okay, That's sorry. why they're a disappointment. They were expected to be first in that category. Top 10 water boy ratio. 